Assalamualaikum and hi. I'm Amirul. Today we are going to learn about interference test. At the end of this video, we are going to define interference and pulse test. Secondly, we are going to analyze interference test using semi-law and tight curve matching analysis technique. Before I start, we are going to recap about what we learned previously, which are which is single well test. Single well test is the change of flow rate and pressure response is recorded in the same well. For example, is raw down and build up. In single well test, it provides well characteristics that include flow capacity, well bore conditions, and fracture length. But it do not provide directional nature of reservoir property. Secondly, it also unable to indicate the degree of communication between the well, which can be achieved using multiple well tests. Multiple well tests is the change of flow rate in one active well, and the pressure response is recorded in another well. In multiple well tests, it involves larger radius of investigation than single well tests. Skin do not affect because skin only acts in the neighborhood of the active well. Well bore storage effect also can be minimized using multiple well testing. Interference test is part of multiple well testing, where multiple well testing consists of interference test and pulse test. In interference testing, we can obtain the permeability and the porosity, which can be performed by creating pressure interference in an observation well by operating the active well. What can be achieved by doing interference testing? 1. Reservoir connectivity 2. Directional reservoir flow patterns 3. Reservoir porosity 4. Magnitude of reservoir permeability Hi everyone, my name is Amir Salman Ahmadi and my metric number is 177117 Our recent content is single and multiple well testing, interference testing, analyze and semi law, procedure using semi law calculation, and conclusion. Now I'm going to talk about single and multiple well testing. Single well testing. In single well testing, only one well is involved to be tested, and change of flow rate and pressure are recorded in the same well. Example for the single well testing can be draw down, build up, fall up, step rate, that's all. Multiple well tests. In multiple well tests, there is more than one well involved. And again, in multiple well tests, at least one active well and one observation well exist. And multiple well tests have larger radius of investigation compared to single well tests. Example for multiple tests can be interference tests. Let me explain more on that. Imagine these two are two wells. And of course there are grains in our formation. Let's say this one is empty well, while this one is observation well. What does that mean? That means if we inject water or anything else in our active well, this water, if it can flow through our grains and reach to our observation well, we are gonna have change in our Q or flow rate. 
If that's happened, that means these two wells are connected. By the way, the distance between these two wells called R or radius. What we can understand from this figure is the presence or lack of the communication between test well and surrounding well, the mobility thickness product, the porosity compressibility thicknesses product, and the fracture orientation if intersecting one of the test well, and the permeability in the directional direction of major and minor axis. I'm going to pass the flow to my friend. Hello guys, my name is Amiru Fitri bin Muhammad Ashraf. My ID number is Y9148. Since interference test is multiple well testing, so there should be more than one well. Right here, I have observation well and active well. Interference test is performed by producing in the active well and measure the pressure response in the observation well at the distance R. So, how to calculate the interference radius? The interference radius can be calculated by using this formula 0 0.029 multiplied by square root permeability time over porosity, viscosity, and total compressibility. So, now let's move on to the objective of this test. The main purpose of this interference testing is to determine whether the well are connected to each other in the same reservoir. Next, the objective of, of this interference test is to investigate the fluid flow properties and pattern. Next, the purpose of this interference test is to study the nature and behavior of the permeability of the reservoir and then this test also can determine the presence of force and fracture in the reservoir lastly the objective of this interference testing is to calculate the permeability and porosity so that's all for my part thank you I will pass to my friends. Hello everyone, my name is Parakhat Khudai Berdeev and our group was assigned to do the project based on interference test. And my part is Semilog analysis method. For Semilog analysis method, there are two cases. Case 1, active wells producing or injecting. Case 2, active well is shut in after produ producing for time TP. Case 1. Active well is producing or injecting. Uh, the pressure behavior at the observation well is given by well bore storage pressure equals to uh, pressure at 1 hour uh, plus uh, slope M multiplied by logarithm T. Uh, this equation is valid for when uh, 0 0.0002638 permeability multiplied by time over porosity, fluid viscosity, and total compressibility, and the wellbore radius square when. When this inequality condition is less than 100. Okay, uh, when plotting, uh, when we plot uh, wellbore storage pressure, pressure versus time on similar graph, it yields a straight line portion of slope M, which may be used to calculate permeability okay, and the porosity. And the permeability is defined by this equation, where our Q is flow rate, uh, mu is uh, fluid viscosity, and the B is uh, volume formation factor, and our M is slope, and the H is pace on thickness. 
and our uh, porosity is defined by this formula where our p1 hour is obtained from the semilog straight line at t equals to uh, 1 hour now for case 2 active well is shut in after producing for time tp production time the pressure behavior at the observation well is given by this equation when we plot uh, well bore storage pressure versus uh, uh, tp plus delta t there should be over delta t as well i messed up a little bit on similar graph it yields a straight line portion of slope which may be used to calculate the permeability and the porosity a permeability we can calculate by using this formula and the uh, porosity can be obtained by this formula where our uh, p one hour is obtained from the semi-log straight line at uh, delta t equals to one hour so now we present to you the type mesh curve analysis which is related to our topic the interference test so now i will brief to you the procedure when performing this analysis so we go step by step on performing this process so step number one you have to calculate the delta p for every g which means that delta p is equal to delta p. major difference which is PR minus PWS. PR means that the reservoir pressure and PWF is the wet flow pressure or the pressure in its at initial depth and T is time in hours. So then we prepare a log log graph on a tracing paper and when you have done your log log graph should be look like this. Now this is just the roughly drawing so you have you should plot um you should plot you should draw a more a more detailed graph for this so next using the data that you obtain you plot the l that for the data p against the data the, the t on the log graph that you obtain just now okay when you after you plot you will obtain the curve and match the curve that you got yet you plot it into the master graph and the master graph you can see right here now this is the master graph for this curve for this analysis okay so after you you found the mesh graph with your master graph so you obtain the mesh point for each for, for each of this value Delta P which is the, the pressure difference and that T is the time. You can pick any point as long as the graph that you obtain is matched with the master curve. And these two values is obtained from the graph that you plot. And this is PD. PD is the pressure, di pressure di dimensionless pressure and time dimensionless time over dimensionless value squared. And these two values is you obtain it from the master curve. So after you obtain the, that, the value, use the value to calculate the K and porosity. K is permeability, this symbol is porosity, which is K is K2141.2 times Q B over mu over, over H, which is Q is equal to flow rate, B is the formation value factor, this is equal to viscosity and this is the thickness of the formation and this is the PD which is the dimensionless pressure and the difference pressure that will obtain from the mesh point MP means the mesh point from this formula you can cal calculate the permeability next you calculate the porosity which is the formula is 0 0.0002637 times K over R squared CT and mu and times t over td over rb squared mp which is this value is equal to k is equal to permeability obtained just now 
R squared is the radius of the reservoir, CT is the total compressibility, and this mu is viscosity. T is time, TD is dimensionless time, RD squared is square of dimensionless radius. So you can try on your own. The procedure is just three, just like what we do in the well in the previous well type of curves. So try on your own. Hope for the best. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Amar Fahmi, ID number 18469. I will be talking about the conclusion of our topic which is interference testing. I will go through the recap of what my friends had said just now. So my friends just now start with the definition of the two types of the well test. We have single well test and also multiple well test. For the single well test we have few examples like draw down, build up and fall off and steep rate. Then my friend talk about the differences between the single well and multiple well. For the single well, the change of the flow rate and the pressure response is recorded in the same well. But for the multiple well, the change of the flow rate in one well and the pressure response is recorded in other well. Moving on to the objectives of the interference testing. We interference testing is performed to obtain permeability and porosity of the well. After that, my friend talk about interference testing is performed by producing at active well and record pressure at observation well. Multiple well tests is involve more than one well, at least one active producing well and one observation well. Lastly, my friend Jasper Baraha talk about the two cases. Case 1, we have active well is producing injecting and we have case 2, active well is shutting after producing for the time. Lastly, my friend Akmar has explained about the interference test type curve matching and then he start talk about the calculate pressure difference then plot delta B against the time on a long log log, log graph then he matched the graph into the master curve then he chose the mat uh, match point for delta b bd time and dt over r square d after that we calculate the permeability and also velocity for the formula k equal to 1 for 1.2 q b mu over h BD over delta B and then for the porosity we use that we use this formula 0 0.0002637 K over R 2 CT mu T over TD over RD square that's all about interference testing and I hope we have given you a clear idea of this topic. Thank you.